Hey guys, what is up? Hi, and welcome back to the Blue Elixir. Now, um, so I've seen many people actually get these kind of errors on uh, their bucket servers when trying to launch it every time. And um, so apparently I thought I had the problem fixed for it, but apparently I did not. So uh, today, right here, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this problem really fast and really simply easy, not con not confusing in any way, and it, it won't really bother you that much. So anyways, to fix this problem, uh, as you can see here, it says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. Press any key to continue. Now, of course, if you click any key, it will just disappear, and you might be like, what is this problem? Well, the actual problem is that it can't really find Java, right? It It's not got the right, like, path. So, we're gonna fix that right now, and it is very simple, more simple than you think, trust me, it's not hard at all, so let's begin. The first thing you wanna do is go into your start menu. Now, if you're using Windows 8, all you want to do is simply open the Explorer, and what you wanna do next is go to Computer, and you wanna right-click the actual uh, background right here and click on Properties. Now, if, uh, since I'm on Windows 7, I'm gonna be doing it the original way. So, go to your start menu, and simply go to Computer, Right click that and simply click on properties. It's pretty much the same thing. And it will open up the control panel and some system things. Now, here you can see all the specs and blah, 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 and whatever. Uh, now, this is not really important. What we're going to be focusing on is just keeping this up. So, we'll come back to this in a second. Just keep this up. Now, the next thing we're going to do is simply go to our start menu once again, go to computer. And now, this time, we're not going to right click it. We're actually just going to go inside it. And we're going to go inside our primary disk or whatever we have installed Java now the thing is that uh, we want to go inside program files okay not program files x86 we go into program files so anyways uh, go into that and look uh, for your uh, Java folder as you can see mine is here and simply go inside that now uh, the problem is really as you I said before that it can't really find the path of Java and that's what we're gonna be adding into the computer so we're net recognize it as it's not doing already so um, find the latest version of Java that you've installed. Mine is GRE 7, as in my tutorial. Uh, go inside that folder. Next up, you want to go inside the bin folder. So simply go inside that. Now scroll down until you see Java. Now, as you can see, this should be the right folder since we have all the files in here. So the next thing you want to do is simply click this little folder up here right next to the uh, uh, back and uh, forward uh, uh, arrows. So click this little folder right here, or simply click the side of all of this little like uh, text thing up here, like this little uh, tab or just click this, and it will give you the little path for this actual um, uh, folder. So what we're gonna be doing is simply copying this. We're gonna right click and we're gonna click on copy. So if this is not highlighted, all you need to do is simply highlight it. Now, uh, we don't need this anymore, so we're just gonna close that down. And the next thing we're gonna do is go into, but now I said, as I said before, we're gonna be needing this little window right here. So go back to the window that we previously opened by going to our start menu, right clicking computer and clicking on properties. And it should be on the control panel thing in the system properties. Uh, so we're going to go inside advanced system settings. Click on that. And this window should pop up, system properties. Now we're going to go to environment variables or variables or whatever. Uh, so yeah, click on that. And it will bring up this window. Now um, this is where we're going to be adding the path. So the first thing we want to do is simply click this new button right here. And, and next to edit and delete. Now as you can see, there's two of these. First off, we just want to do the one at the top. So click on new. Now, it will bring up this thing, and it's going to ask you to add a new uh, variable uh, uh, value thing. So, what we're going to be doing is simply, uh, the variable name is going to be, um, let's see here, what was it? Uh, class path, uh, within the capital letters, it has to be capital, caps, don't forget. Uh, so, class path, and the next thing we're going to do is simply paste in the path that we just copied from the program files folder. So, simply paste that in here, as you can see, and we're going to be clicking OK. Now, click this once more, click on new, and this time we're gonna give it the name only path in caps. Very important to be caps, okay? Then, simply paste that in again, and click okay. Now what we wanna do is go to the one at the bottom. Now, as you can see, there's two. Just simply click the one at the bottom. Now, we, did, we, we simply just wanna do the same thing. So, type in class path, oh, did I type that there? Oh, wait, very important. Very important that you spell this right, and it's very, it's, it's case sensitive, so make sure it's uh, in capitals. Uh, in caps. So, anyways, paste that in once more. Class path. We're gonna add one more, and path, and simply paste in the actual path, and click OK. And now, all we need to do is click OK, OK, and you're done. That should be it. Now, if we, uh, as you can see, this is the old one. So, if we simply 
Uh, the, wait, I don't need to exit this actually. Well, uh, maybe I should, yeah. Uh, exit that out. Uh, simply open your folder. Uh, I'm just gonna have to actually go inside my, um, <laughs> let's see here, uh, desktop here. As you see, you should go to your server. And we simply want to open the server. So now, as you can see, before it said that it was an internal error and all that. What we want to do is simply open it up. And as you can see, it will start loading the things that it did not load before. And it is running pretty smooth, pretty easy. And it will simply start loading here. Now, if you just give you a sec, my computer is pretty slow, as you might already know if you've seen my previous videos. And as you can see, it's simply going to start loading the server. Now, of course, you just want to check that and click a low access. Of course, I'm learning anyone would not be able to join. Um, but. There we go, and as you can see, it's pretty much just loading the worlds, generating the files, and everything should work as it should, you know, and um, so, um, yeah, I hope this helped for the people that have this problem. Uh, if it did, please leave, the, leave this video a like, it really helps me out, uh, and also, if you have any questions, anything that did not work out, you know, just tell me in the comments below, and I might be able to help you, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.